Hello, I'm Rebecca Mesoff. In my online tapestry techniques course, Warp and Weft, Learning the Structure of Tapestry, there's a long video about weft tension and how to manage it in tapestry weaving. This video is a short introduction to that information. If you're interested in my online classes, check out my website here. When weaving tapestry, one of the most important skills you need to learn is how much weft needs to be woven in. Because tapestry is a weft-faced fabric, we want enough weft to go in to cover the warp, and we don't want to cause the edges to draw in or the warps to start pulling together. If you get too much weft in, the opposite problem occurs. Your edges will start pushing out and the warp spacing will get wider. The basic points to remember are, if your warps are drawing together, you have to put more weft in, make bigger bubbles in those areas. And if your warps are pushing apart, you need to put less weft in there. Make smaller bubbles or bring the weft straight across in those areas. Let's jump into a video I created for one of my online classes, which shows me working with some of these warp and weft issues. I'm having a little trouble with spacing here. My, my warps are too wide and I'm getting some sinking in my fell line, so I'm trying to get those warps to come back together by putting less bubble in that area. Notice here how I'm pushing that weft straight across with my left hand. So in that area where the warps are spreading, I'm trying to get the weft to go straight across and that will start to pull them back together. Ideally, you'd want all your bubbles all the way across to be fairly even, the angle at the edge of the bubble being around 30 degrees. However, that shifts when your warps are moving around or when you're weaving a more narrow area. And again, when you're trying to fix warps, you do it every single pass. I have the opposite problem over here where these warps are coming together a little bit. So I try to put a nice big bubble in there. More weft goes in when they're coming together and that weft helps to push the warp out again. You can also encourage it a little bit. If you have strong cotton sine twine warp, you can encourage those to come apart. People who are newer to tapestry weaving will often have this problem where sections of warp get closer together, especially near the edges. You need to make an effort to make the bubbling in that area very large on every pick. It could take inches of weaving to get the warps to move back out if the problem is severe, so you can't give up after a few picks. As long as you are using a strong warp like cotton sign twine, pulling the warps apart in that area after every pick can help a lot and speed the process up. Notice here how I'm really flattening my bubble out and making the line go straight across to try to pull those warps back together. and I'm doing it again on the very next pick and every pick thereafter until the problem is solved. Here it is again. Pull those wefts apart strongly after you beat in every pick, if you have a strong enough warp.
pull those warps apart. <laughs>